In this screencast I'll show you the equations that can be used to calculate binary VLE data and I'll also compare it to literature values. So first of all just to recap the theory we're using the Antoine equation, Routes law and Dalton's law. And for the first example we're going to take uh, component 1 as methanol and component 2 as ethanol. They're very similar molecules and so hopefully they're going to behave in a reasonably ideal way because Raup's law assumes ideal liquid behavior. Now we have the Antoine constants for these two components and then we have our VLE calculations set up over here. Now at the moment all the temperatures are set to 67 degrees and then we have the X1, X2 components running from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 in 0.01 increments and then we calculate the partial pressure of component 1 and 2 using Routes law. The total pressure is given from the sum and then we get the vapor fractions, the mole fractions of 1 and 2 by dividing partial pressure by total pressure. Now because for this example we want the pressure to be 760 millimeters of mercury all the way through we're going to need to use goal seek to, to vary this temperature until this pressure is what we need. So if we go to data and to the what if analysis, click goal seek, and we want this cell to be set to a value of 760 by changing this temperature here, click OK, and it's worked out a value for us. Now it's going to take quite a long time to go through all 101 of these data points and so we can actually use a macro so over in macros I've written an auto goal seek macro and if you just click edit I can show you this is the code to do this and it's going to run through all of the cells and set it to uh, the value in 013 which is the pressure that we want to set I'll close this go back to developer macros and if I press run macro just very quickly all of those have been set to 760 by varying these temperature values. Okay now let's have a look at a plot of the data. The blue line is what we've calculated and these x values, these x data points are from the literature and so we can see the reasonable fit to the data here and so it would seem that uh, the the, these two molecules have behaved in a fairly ideal way in terms of their interaction and the literature data is shown here with the reference. For the second example I'm going to take p-xylene and o-xylene and they're very very similar they're just isomers of each other uh, the, the methyl groups are in slightly different positions in terms of the way they're attached to this benzene ring and again we've got Antoine coefficients, Antoine constants that we can use. Everything is set up for us. The solver macro has already been run so that everything is already set to the right pressure. And if we look at the XY plot again we can see that these, this calculation using this ideal solution mixing and assuming ideal solution behaviour with Routes law is a reasonable fit to the literature data uh, the literature data details are given here so these are the literature values and these are the references and website here so overall that's a screencast to show you uh, how the VLE calculations can be implemented and then also compared to literature data